The security roadmap is coming a day after President Buhari commissioned the first fully made in Nigeria military vehicle. He also charged the army and the entire armed forces to work towards sustainably manufacturing hardware locally. Now joining me from Abuja studio is public affairs analyst Alpha Jatin and also on Skype is security expert Kash Ononuju. Um, to you, um, Alpha Jatin, again, the, the, uh, let's look at the fact that the president has commissioned these um, mine resistant ambush protected vehicles for um, the, the war against insurgency in the northeast. What do you make of that? Well, as a Nigerian, I'm very elated. It's nice to know that this can happen more so in this time that the military is so stretched. I must use this opportunity to congratulate all stakeholders who made this possible. And it's also nice to know that DICON, which is Defense Industries Corporation of Nigeria, is back on the news for the right reasons. The, that industry for a very long time was more rebound. But for this to happen, I must tell you as a Nigerian, I'm very elated. But the thing is, I hope this gesture can be sustained. I hope that it will be so strategic in a way that we someday will be able to export military hardware to African countries and other countries of the world. Okay, so um, if you followed our, our earlier conversation, um, Kash Onodoju, who is also joining us, um, doesn't seem to agree with the fact that the army should concern itself with production of its own weapon. He says, look, we have security challenges. Why not focus on security challenges uh, and not manufacturing of weapon? What do you make of that? Well, don't forget that necessity, they say, is the mother of invention. To a large extent, this will help us save cash. If we had our own hardware and we were depending on our own hardware, I'm sure the thing about having to negotiate for weapons from overseas and what have you to fight this insurgency probably would have gotten or would have covered further grounds. So in my opinion, I think it's a step in the right direction. Yes, we know the military is overstretched and all that, but it is not coming at the wrong time. It's truly a step in the right direction. We have to leave it there. Um, security analyst, security expert Kash Nonoju, and public affairs analyst Alpha Jack. Then many thanks to the both of you for joining us on this.